welcome to Ego Netcast. I am Martin Lindeskog. Today I have a guest here called Sandra Aviani of Aviani Budar. Hello, Sandra. Hello, hello. How are you doing? I'm fine, and thank you to uh, yes. to let me join. Great, and I will thank you, Sandra. Uh, we have a common friend here called Lotta or Charlotte Stengavel of Creative Support, and she talked about you uh, in your BNI team, Business Network International, and then we met at the podcast meetup that I arranged. And we start talking about podcasting, uh, jingles, music, uh, what you are standing for, your services and your product, your uh, customer experience, uh, and uh, your why, etc. So it was very interesting meet up there. So I'm very mm. happy to to meet you, Sandra. And uh, you you made your conversation uh, or our conversation made me also get the kick and fuel for my soul regarding my own podcasting. So Mm. I did a solo show recently and I did a shout out to you and others. And now I want to continue this new segment that I had with Addy Sosido of a podcast planner called Ego Search. So it's like a shorter format, about 15 minutes, and, and it's like an ego search on on the guest. So when I searched on you, uh, Sandra, I mm. found about uh, on Google and also on the search engine DuckDuckGo, uh, I found several uh, things about your company, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, etc. And of course, it's a very local base. So if I search here in Gothenburg, Sweden, I get certain results. But or if you're somewhere else in the world, then you get other results. What was very interesting, uh, Sandra, was when in the right column, you have been very good at, at positioning yourself by Google Places or the business side of Google. So there mm. you have the address of your uh, shop in central in Gothenburg, uh, opening hours, and you have impressive uh, testimonials, amount of testimonials. It was over 30 testimonials, and I think it was mm. overall the five-star reviews. So that's the branding experience and, and, and customer experience that mm. a, a guy called Chris Brogan that has started a new podcast. Could you tell you, uh, the listeners what kind of customer experience uh, do, do you want the visitors and potential uh, buyers and repeat buyers to get when they enter your Bodar, your shop in Gothenburg? I want them to feel happiness. And that it's uh, feeling enjoyable to be here uh, in our boudoir to make them happier. Yeah. Yeah. And And, when they enter, yeah, continue. Yeah. And also, and also to to be aware of uh, your own body and to love yourself more, a little bit more than you did before you enter the place. That's great. Mm -hmm. And that's mm-hmm. what I see in the testimonials that people are, it's that I get very, I mean, it's, it's shaking you in, in a bit when you hear the stories. I know my favorite social media tool is Twitter. And as I said you before the recording here, Twitter is maybe not for your end customers that are so um, active there, but mm-hmm. you had uh, did a great way with uh, sharing your testimonials on YouTube. And that also your business partner talked about that, Anders, uh, that it's very moving stories about the testimonials. Mm. Could you share without giving out any names and so on, but share a a story about uh, a customer uh, that came into your uh, shop and what they felt uh, beforehand and then after your customer service and when they left the shop and some feedback on that? Because this is in a way a sensitive topic i'm talking here as a man and right now i'm wearing a product from your store uh, mac elson boxer shorts and i they're feeling very supportive i could say and relaxed at the same time 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, our, our shop is uh, uh, is main uh, to women. It's uh, lingerie yep. for, for 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 women, but we have some uh, some uh, clothes for men too, but not so much as you mm-hmm. saw when you were here. Uh, I can I can uh, tell about an, uh, an experience uh, who, who really touched me. Uh, it was uh, first. Uh, um, the customer's husband, uh, he was entered the shop and asked me uh, if we have uh, a lot of uh, uh, big sizes. Uh, and I said, yes, yes, of course, we, we have for everyone and in, in every each size. Uh, so uh, he, he was happy. And then he said that his wife is very sick and that uh, she have a really, really uh, difficult to find bra to her. So he said that I'm coming back with her. And he did that after one month. He entered the shop. It was a Saturday. Uh, and, uh, uh, and w- when I, when I started to help this uh, w- w- woman, uh, she, I, I first asked her what, what was her problem. Um, and then she said, um, that, that the bra, was hurting her uh, body and, and the skin mm. so much that uh, she she had to have lots of extension uh, device uh, for the bra. And when I saw it uh, on her, I, I really I realized how how difficult because she had two uh, extension devices, uh, uh, um, and it, it d- didn't look good at all. Uh, so I, I said to her, can I, can I measure you? And of course she, she allowed me. And I, I also asked her, uh, why she didn't get help from, from other, uh, other shops. Uh, and then she said that, uh, uh, sometimes they told her that they don't have her sizes. And in one, in one shop, they said also, to her to get down with the weight and uh, hmm. to, to lose some weight. And it was not happy. I was not happy to hear about that, of mm-hmm. course, because she, she cannot help uh, that uh, uh, her, she have a, a really um, a big um, uh, problem with her weight. Uh, she's sick. So, okay. So I, I wanted to help her. And, uh, when I, when I did that, uh, she immediately felt, um, I don't know how to call it in, in, in English, uh, letnad. How like do you relieved, say letnad? Relieved? Yeah. Yes, a yeah. relieved. Yes. She felt a relief, yeah. uh, in her shoulders mm. immediately. So she really, uh, uh um, when she uh, was uh, uh, going away from here, she 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 bought five bras, and she wow. really felt that it was something total, total different. What uh, she ever had experienced before. Um, so so it well, was uh, a, it, yeah, yeah yeah it was for me it was wow it was. Uh, I mean, also when she was uh, try the bras, everything was in mm. positive way, and also her mm. feeling to wear mm. the right size was so comfortable for her. So I I really looked in her how how she get to smile and and she was really happy. Mm. Yeah, that's great. Uh, how how does do you get like? Uh, repeat customers or people finding your store because when you search here you find if you know where to search for but you have with word of mouth and of course she will be a happy customer and tell her friends and others about it of course it's as i said it's a bit of a personal topic here and it could be a sensitive issue um and, and me as a man, I, I don't know how much women are talking about uh, yes uh, lingerie we are talking and a lot. underwear and mm. Okay. Yeah. 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 In we are talking way? a lot. I yeah. mean, uh, it's the, 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 to wear the bra. I mean, ninety yeah. uh, percent of women wear wrong sizes. Uh, how could they do that? Wow. 
I think it's because of uh, the shops. They don't offer yeah. in so many selection. Uh, yeah. selection of sizes. So, mm. yeah. And and uh, and also, I, I mean, the, the shops have to have a, a really good uh, knowledge about how to how to wear the bra in in the perfect way. Mm. And uh, yeah, so so we are talking about uh, lots of things about w- what we are disturbing, what disturbing us, like uh, the bra. Bra is one of of the. We, we, I, I think the most people will uh, say the same that we hate to wear the bra because it's not mm. comfortable. And we don't know that mm. it can be comfortable, but it can. Yeah. Mm. I, I, I always talk that if you have really 100% right size, then it's very, very comfortable. And of course, um, the quality of the bra is important as well. It's, it's as, the same as shoes. When you choose to buy a shoes, you have a good quality and you have less quality. When you try it, and if you if you buy a really good quality, it's 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 comfortable, in 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 right size, of course, it's the same yeah. as with shoes. Yeah. Do Do you want to share your personal story? Why you, in a way, ended up in yeah. this uh, industry? Because you you haven't done this um, your whole life, right? You have, you're coming from some other. Uh, mm. background yes yes i have a, a background from the from the bank uh i was mm. a financial advisor for 20 years mm. and uh, so, so i am actually a customer who who, who started mm. uh, this uh, shop and th- this business uh mm. it, it was back to 96 when i was uh, i was for, for the first time a mother to a child and mm. um I needed a really good bra, a nursery bra, uh, mm. and uh, I went to a, a, a boutique, a, 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 one boutique, and, and the lady who owned that boutique, she really helped me, and mm. it was so comfortable. So I, when I tried it on me, and I asked her, "What is this? What is this? Uh, what kind of size is this?" Because I have never experienced something uh, similar was uh, comfortable and I didn't want to to take it off it was wow and then mm. she said that you wear 30k and it's in mm-hmm. european sizes is 65k and i was mm. sorry what did you said i didn't mm. know that that kind of sizes exist uh, either so it was a new experience and uh, after a while, when I wanted to have a new bra, uh, when, yeah, uh, to no- a normal bra, uh, I mm. couldn't find my size nowhere. Mm. And the shops tried to sell other sizes mm-hmm. they had, but not, mm. uh, what it, in, in my size. So, um, mm. so when I tried other sizes, they didn't fit me. Hundred mm. percent. It was not comfortable, mm. and it was not the same feeling when I had my right size. Mm. And uh, two years after, it was ninety-eight. I was going to a wedding. I I find mm. the dress with really mm. thin uh, thin uh, straps on the on the dress, yes. and it was really important for me that the bra I wear fit the the dress the dress was brown yeah. color it was in brown mm. and lace color in lace mm. and and mm. Uh, and i was really crying i i i i don't know how, how many it was maybe 15 shops i went mm. and that and i had my dress with me and no mm. one could help me no mm. one so i i really i was and yeah i was totally frustrated and I was crying and I told myself that one day I am going to open a shop who have bras in each color, in mm. every color. Mm. But <laughs> what I didn't know then, that it, that it exists over 270 sizes. Wow. So you can imagine. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not there yet, but, uh, I, I, but I, we have a lot, a, a big, uh, collection uh, or selection. Uh, yeah. Yeah, collection. Ra- yes, range yes, of yes. products and, and if, range of. 
sizes. Yes, and, yeah. and the mo- the most yeah, and the most important of all is that if I had if I have a customer who wants a, a lime green color of the mm. bra and I don't have it in my shop, I will help her. I know where to find it for yeah. her in the right size. Yeah, that's that's mm. great. And when uh, you say lime uh, color, I, I'm thinking of margarita. What's what's your favorite beverage? Yeah. Uh, you have a boudoir. I mean, you you do some exclusive things and some very that you feel very comfortable in your in your place in your shop so could you tell a little about that because you're really entering a private zone and uh, uh, like a closet where you feel comfortable and could uh, test out things could you explain um, or tell uh, uh, how how it goes into your shop there in, in some events or something like that Excuse me, I, I didn't understand exactly your question. Uh, when you have uh, a boudoir, sorry. it's like a private uh, space, uh, like a yeah. closet, yeah. and but you have also very nice yeah. settings and events uh, that you could feel comfortable. Yeah. And uh, could you tell a bit more about when I, you have like a happening or event or or something like that, um, like a, that you test out different bras or uh, several uh, females or women could be there? Uh, do you have a yeah, way of yeah, doing I, that. But everything is, yeah, everything is 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 uh, in another way. I mean, mm. I, I the shop, h- how I built the shop is 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 uh, one kind of. I mm. mean, uh, when I entered uh, many shops before, it was uh, so many bras everywhere, so I yep. couldn't concentrate, and yep. it was uh, a mess. So yep. I I I thought about how. Should I, when I was a customer, w- what is nice for me is mm. that you have a space and that, that, that the place is comfortable and that mm. everyone, women or men, mm. uh, when they, when they enter, w- when they come in the shop, I would like that everyone feel welcomed. Yeah. That everyone can feel comfortable to be here. Yeah, it's I felt important. very comfortable my, to be my, there, I could say. Yeah, yeah. I dare yeah, to and enter lots the of, building. Uh, men, yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. And lots of men, customer who, mm. who entered uh, this shop, they're telling us uh, really uh, lots of many times they are th- that they are feeling really welcomed. Mm. They are. I mean, uh, so it's like like you coming uh, in my home. It's yeah. Uh, yeah it's private. It, it's it's uh, and but but it's important for me that you are that you feel that. I am helping you. I, mm. I mean, if you enter this shop, you want yeah. something. Yeah. You, of course, you need help, and I, I'm here for helping you. Mm. So, um, yeah. So, so I have also uh, events, mm. lots of events here, because uh, uh, we started for five and a half years ago, mm. and it's going slowly, mm. uh, and lots of uh, people don't know yet about mm. the shop so i try to to invite uh, people women uh, to join mm. an event yeah. here with eight pe- maximum eight mm. people and 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 we have a nice evening two hours oh. evening mm. where i telling about uh, our story uh, what we want to with this shop and everyone ha- uh, wants to measure mm. Be, be measured mm. to, to see what, how, how it fell, feel, mm. uh, to have a right size of bra. Yeah. That's great mm-hmm. here because you have to take, I mean, get this, uh, customer experience and in a nice setting and take time. And then you find the right mm-hmm. size and, and the right fit. You will have a great experience of that. And, and you could, as I said, you wear, wear these underwear, undergarments, lingerie for many hours per day and for a long time in your life. So it seemed very yeah. important. So that's, I wonder yeah. why this priority. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. Yeah. I, I, and I, this is re- very interesting because when I was a mm. customer, I thought that the bra was really expensive. Mm. But when I started the shop, when I, when I learned how, how you make, how you made mm. a bra. I mean, you have 30, over 30 mm. pieces. Some, someone mm. pair of hands yeah. or many hands 
are doing it. It's not a robot. It's not a suing mm. a robot who is doing a bra. So it's mm. people actually. Um, and many, many, many hours, uh, mm. they do the bra. And also when you wear the bra, I mean, I wear, I, I had, I have to, uh, I, I need to wear mm. my bra every day. So 365 mm. uh, days per year, I wear it. And I, I, ca I count that I mm. wear uh, 70 hours uh, per day, sometimes less, sometimes more, but mm. approximately 17 hours. And it's actually 6,205 mm. hours per mm. year I wear a bra. So then I ask you, is it really expensive clothes? Yeah. I mean, I wear it every day. I wear it 17 hours. I wear it six, it's a over good 6, investment for your, uh, <laughs> for yourself. So it's, yeah. I, I would, yeah, uh, yes. And I will mm. really tell everyone that it's the cheapest mm. clothes you wear yeah. because you wear it so. all the time. So that's a good return so on investment, you could say. Mm. To get, yeah. Talking about yes, that. Yes, of course. Yeah. It is. Yeah, and that's the thing. And the also important fit. that it's comfortable. Talking about that, what's mm -hmm. your, uh, what are your plans for the future to get even more uh, return on investment on your time, your energy, and etc. What, what, what's uh, your immediate plans? And you could also tell about the dreams if you want. Uh, what, what, or ahead for Sandra Viani. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Yes, yeah. I I have read the book Rich Dad Poor Dad, and I mm -hmm. I get really inspired of uh, Robert Kiyosaki. Uh, so, mm. I I mean I I have yep. opened this shop, and it's really 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 hard work. It is. It's uh, lots yeah. of hours per day. I am here. It's my second home, and uh, the the business is really. Mm -hmm. uh, one kind Part of, of my, life, yeah. my mm -hmm. own life. It's a bit of me, who I am. And mm -hmm. yes, 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 it is. Uh, but mm -hmm. I have also three children. Yeah. I have a husband. Uh, I have friends. I would mm -hmm. like to have more, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. free time to join with them in the life. And mm -hmm. right now I cannot do it. Uh, it's yeah. hard. Uh, but it's also the best thing I did in my life. But I have then a uh, future plans and my future plans, it's, uh, it is to make, uh, hmm. Aviani boudoir to something bigger. Uh, I want it to be, hmm. uh, in uh, lots of hmm. more places, uh, more hmm. shops. Of course, I hmm. cannot be in every shop, but we can have Aviani school. We can have hmm. uh, people who is working, uh, hmm. in our shops. Uh, with the business mm. in the same way as I, I do. So the Aviani school will help these, uh, mm. ladies who wants to work mm. for our company to work in the same way mm. and then to make each franchise mm. a concept, a, a concept, you know. And then, uh, I would like my dream is then to, mm. to, to, to own this French uh, franchising. Mm. And then also to be an expert uh, on lingerie, to talk about it uh, with lots of women, to, to, to write a book, uh, the, the, the bra Bible mm. book. Uh, I, I dream to have more podcasts. Right. Uh, and, and it's funny yeah. when you say uh, bra Bible there, um, because in Swedish, uh, bra is good in Swedish. But it's also, as I said, uh, the garment bra. <laughs> so bra Bible, bra, good Bible. Yeah. yeah for, uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. so it's funny. Yeah, and yeah, I will, yeah, I will yeah. um, tell my, my friend, good friend and, and uh, franchise expert, uh, the franchise king, Joel Libava, about your play, uh, in place and your dreams and uh, see what, what you, what you could do in the future because it's, it's, Great to hear your aspirations and, and your goals and wh where you are heading, Sandra, and, and your company and your, with your business partner. Yes. So where could uh, yeah. the listeners yeah. find yeah. you? On the interwebs, on the internet, and where uh, physically? How could they get in touch with you? Okay, I, I mean, I'm in the, in the middle in, yep. in Gothenburg, in, in Sweden. Yep. 
Uh, it's the second uh, largest uh, city. Uh, and also in mm-hmm. Paris. So t- twice I a year, know that. I'm, I'm traveling yeah, to well, Paris. Okay. To <laughs> I am yeah. in Paris uh, in the lingerie yeah. area to 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 be, to, insp- to to look what what is coming up uh, for yeah. the next year. So in July and January, uh, you can always meet mm-hmm. me there. Uh, I'm always in Paris for mm-hmm. one week, and of course here here mm-hmm. in Gothenburg. And mm-hmm. uh, could you tell yes. the listeners where to find you on the web? You, it's aviani dot e, yeah on the web. S e s e s e yes yes. You um, are active. Yeah, and also yeah. Instagram is also aviani. And yeah. also uh, Pinterest, mm-hmm. you are there too. You have nice boards there. Yeah, Pinterest. It's yeah. lingerie. Yeah. yeah, Pinterest is a lingerie mm-hmm. closet. Uh, aviani. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we ha- we are on mm-hmm. Tumblr exclusively yeah. selected, uh, yeah. And the Facebook is Saviani mm-hmm. Shop. Great. And also our our web shop. We have a web shop with blog uh, yeah. and everything. Mm. But it's, it's still yeah. in Swedish. But we are going to make it also yeah. in English. But you have you can Google yeah. translate the site si- uh, so it's that it's easy yeah. today. Yeah. And we have lots of lots of customers International. from outside That's great Sweden. Great to hear. So you, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a, a New wow. Zealand. We have a customer in mm. New Zealand. So we are also sending, uh, yeah, orders mm. there. Yeah. Very, mm. very interesting to hear, Sandra. So, is it anything that you want to end with saying something um, about this experience or? Uh, yes, yeah? I w- It's it's amazing. I I will thank you. Um, uh, 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 of course, uh, because you inspired me to join uh, this mm. day, uh, this mm. interview, and also to m- make me to do also uh, Aviani mm. podcasts. So, yeah, so I'm very happy that you inspired me. Thanks, Sandra. Yeah. And thank, mm. thank you for much. your time. And uh, talk to you soon again and see you around. Yeah, che- yes, Cheers. thank you. Cheers. <laughs>